What is up guys, Dr. Cellini here. Uh, decided to change it up this episode because I am going to visit the other Dr. Cellini and the third Dr. Cellini is coming to visit as well because he just finished his radiology boards. So we're doing like a little celebration. So Tommy's finishing up his radiology boards right now. This is the one Dr. Cellini took a couple of years ago, right there. Um, same board exam, I assume where it's three days of pretty intense testing. Uh, who are we kidding? He's a radiologist, so it's like the easiest one. And he's literally taking the test right now. So for his board exam, he's probably doing really difficult things like drying up saline in a syringe and measuring three milliliters in a three mil syringe, stuff like that. Hopefully I can give you a little bit of inside footage on what Dr. Cellini's life really is like behind the scenes. Being his older brother, I feel like I could probably do that and get away with it. So hopefully we don't piss him off. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Guys, fun fact, when you hang out with Dr. Cellini, you gotta bring multiple outfits because he might tell you that you have to change. The fork to stay on I-95 South. Weather is phenomenal here in New York City. Dr. Cellini standing next to where his career went. Oh my God, is that Dr. Cellini? Get in here. Hey man. <laughs> Guys, I'm in Dr. Cellini's apartment. Uh. A tour yet, so I can't see it, show the whole apartment. Yeah. Michael's handling his keys like he handles a catheter. <laughs> Fumbling. Guys, I found it. The holy grail of medical vlogging, but definitely not actual radiology. This is training and vlogging. Oh my god, I'm in Dr. Cellini's bathroom. All right, so Michael, where are we? We got uh, a little Frankie's. Frankie's nice. restaurant. What, what part of the city are we in? We are in the East Village. And we're waiting on Tommy to come Tommy, meet us. Caitlin. Tommy's missing out on the greatest pizza ever. There you go. What is going through Tommy's mind right now? He just finished his radiology board. Tommy just finished boards. He's probably relieved. He's probably still a little stressed. He doesn't know if he uh, passed yet. He won't know for weeks. So he just needs to come here and eat and drink and relax. Eat, drink, and relax. That's it. That's all you can do. Hey, lady. Hey. hey. Hold on, Jim. Dr. Cellini. Can't wait. Survey. Can't wait. All right, Michael, AG, where are we and what are we doing? Still We're in East, East Village. Village. Looking for a cocktail Looking place. Looking for some cocktail places. I've got pizza from Little Frankie's. Little Frankie's? Now I've got some cocktails before Tommy gets here. Yeah. There's no curfew. Well, we already had dinner. We're just going over to Temple Grove. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. Round two. Round two. Yeah, medicine. Yeah. Dr. Cellini, your thoughts? Uh, I'm not that excited to see them. <laughs> These are my lesser, uh, lesser family members. This is so exciting. I don't have a YouTube. Uh, Tommy the lesser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Jim, how's the drive in? This is great. Okay, I mean, this is for Tommy. Oh so Tommy, Tommy, was this basically the SAT? Yeah, it's the same right? thing. Like, sit down and take the test. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't go in anywhere? Well, no, no, no. I took it. Proctored. I, I, took the whole I, thing. I lived at home this week at my parents' house. Wait, how did you do that? Wait, what? <laughs> like, and then 9.30, I would log on to this thing, and I had a camera. You have to have, like, a side-facing camera. Wait, who this. has it? Where did the camera come from? I just I bought a webcam to like make up. Wait, for the that party. is so extra. I Wait, wow! Everyone's buy a freaking webcam. So, Michael, did you have to do that? Oh no! God. I, I, He's no. been taping all day. Tommy, our I don't think you realize how bad how, how bad it is. 
what oh, we, what dude, we, had, what we like... had to do. No, 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 no. You're at a hotel room. You have to stay at a certain hotel room. You meet down in the lobby at a certain time. They check your ID. They funnel you into a room. Can't talk to anybody. You have nothing in your pockets, no phone, no nothing. They put you on a bus. They bus you. You're silent the whole time. They bus you to another, to an undisclosed location. Yeah. You get out single file and they check you, they fingerprint you, they do all the stuff, and then they, they walk you to your seat. My board was on a stuffed animal. <laughs> it's literally military, it's like military ass. I took that and it was through like, a, what's the company that does this? The Iowa test of basic skills. Ooh, so stupid. God. So, <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. What's the company that puts those? Prometric. Prometric. Like yeah. Prometric, there's, you literally are. You're sponsored by them, aren't you? Face to face with a person. <laughs> Not yet. You're face to face. Wait. Wait. wait so you just wait. wake up in your. I feel bad. In my own bed. At oh, nine thirty, it lets really me into the exam thing, and I log on, scan the room, with my video. Fair at all. You kind of got lucky. Oh, so much better. That's why I don't want to retake this. It's gonna be like what you did. Yeah. yeah so, remember? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try this again. It was a disaster. Chicago. I'm going to the province. I had nothing to say about folks. What? I told him he could well, do it. Harvard man. I uh. Yeah, Oh my god, thank you for the kids! Yeah, enough of the vlog the vlogs that What? Well you don't think you can speak free? Yeah, there's one more there's another piece of cake you want it. Other options. It was like it was like Michael, where are we going? I don't know, you tell me. Breakfast? Tommy, where are we going? Uh, get a bagel. Nice. Do you eat bagels, Dr. Cellini? Bagels, not bagels. Only when you're here. Oh, cool. Bagels. Everything ready, Kim Chis? And everything, uh, no more sandwich. You want to just get yours? We're putting all these sure. together. Yeah. Uh, Who's this? Oh, Arctic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Arctic. 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 Oh, Ar
always got to stop when they decide to take a selfie. Yeah. Like a wearer, Crypt Dogs, aka. Please don't tell. And what are we about to do? Drink. Oh. Surprise. <laughs> so you don't know a lot of. Well, you just don't know so many questions, and you're like, I mean, I could easily have gotten like twenty in a row wrong. I'm like, yeah. Obviously, Chicago's number one because of Caitlin. But if you had to choose any place that was. Like with that, like a place in mind was Northwestern your number one. The so program I loved you and sent you a million so like emails saying, "Yeah, every week." I like Brent because they're not like too academic. They were so and nice. They like you. love me. You like Wisconsin, and I like Wisconsin a lot. Cheers to all our accomplishments. To all of our accomplishments. Head to the supper, baby. So we're heading to a restaurant that has been the absolute dream of mine to eat ever since March 2020 when the pandemic hit. So we're eating at Supper, owned by Frank Prisanzano. He's one of the best Italian chefs I know of on social media. He's got a huge Instagram following, and he is uh, just a great guy all around. Check out his Instagram, and I'm gonna show you all that we're eating. Let's go. So supper was literally everything that I wanted it to be. So after consuming about conservatively 8,000 calories at supper last night, I'm trying to work some of this off, I'll probably burn 100, leaving 7,900 calories. That's how working out and eating works. So it was amazing, shout out to him. Some of the best, maybe the best Italian food I've ever had in my entire life. So that was awesome. Andriana's birthday party today. She recently turned 30. So I celebrate that later before I drive home, but quickly let's get a workout in. Fun fact, Michael and Adriana live in an apartment that could go for the Aria in Las Vegas. It's that nice. Must be nice being a radiologist. Oh, hey, you working on a video? Yeah, pretty much. So don't show my email. You normal? <laughs> so stupid. What's this video about? How much you suck? God. Michael, what are we uh, what are we making for Andrea's birthday party? We are making over here. I'll show you. All right. Mezcal, margaritas, mezcalita. There you go. Yeah. How does it feel to be 30? It feels great. I really love the place that I am right now in my life. Oh. And um, just 
just hoping that this decade brings just health, wealth, and prosperity. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't ask for a toast. But... This, this is not a free promotion for Pigmonic. Yeah. Pigmonic. Even though I work for him. All right. Dr. Cellini watching Basics with Babish. But I hate deviled eggs and I hate mayo. This is the whole episode. Beautiful. I present to you our finest Vita Mezcal. Hey, what are you guys doing? Setting up for a little birthday. Yeah, I'm like kitchen sink. And then tell her to bring a pack of ice, another thing of ice. Adriana, is everything perfect? Yes. Good. And some Only the best for my sister-in-law. All right, so Tommy lives in Chicago. Tommy and Caitlin. Amazing food town. How does New York food compare to Chicago food? I need a deep analysis right now. You know, I think it's um, it's a tough. Uh, they're very different. Yeah. Very different food scene. The difference of food in New York, Chicago. At the high end of Chicago, it's like perfect and unmatched, like culinary greatness. But I think in New York, there's like. Just your average stuff on the street is just like amazing and good. Yeah. Like you can find dog shit too. But yeah. the middle of the road stuff, you can get like so, it's so accessible that it's like, oh, this thing's awesome and it's just around the corner. Chicago is either really great food that you have to seek out, but our middle of the road is not that good. Like, yeah. yeah. You have Midwestern here, stuff and you're like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. I think Chicago deep dish pizza is better than New York style pizza. They're different categories. Yeah, I do love deep. I believe Dave Portnoy when he's like, "This is just a different beast." Yeah, because we like that. Just depends on what we yeah, feel they're like. Yeah, the, they're not the same thing. You know, they're both called pizza. They're not the same, right? No. It's like comparing a a pie to a cake. Yeah. But I grew up on deep dish and I love it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, I'm not gonna. Andrada, where are these sandwiches from? Sergio Salumiri. Shout out to them. Uh huh. They have one in West Village and in Whitestone. Oh yeah, it's phenomenal. So fun. I mean, it's no pot belly, but. Pot belly. Holy shit, dude, it's so good. <laughs> I can't remember who that is. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you? I share them. I know. I always like this thing. It's a little girl. Sure, I will. I'm just going to be like, Beyonce. Sure. Michael, was it fun seeing me? It was alright. Are you happy with how Andriana's birthday turned out? I, I am. Andriana, are you happy with how your birthday turned out? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Michael, did you have fun with me and Tommy? I did. I'm going to miss you guys a lot. Aw. Tommy, did you have fun with me and Michael? Yeah. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so it is time for me to head home. I had a blast hanging out with Michael and Andriana. You see it's very windy and my hair is getting messed up. Um, Happy birthday, Andriana. Happy completion of your fellowship, Michael. Happy finishing of your boards, Tommy. It's time to go home and see my own family. And hopefully I don't get stuck in too much New York traffic. But uh, super fun weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little behind the scenes of the uh, Cellini family. And I will see you next time. Peace.